let's just okay let's get into this love energy and i'm sure it's overall there's going to be other messages as well so here we have engagement this is the positive thing i feel you guys are have free yourself which we have here you've got another connection going on but there's a past life relationship still affecting you so um i honestly feel this this past life energy is um a, the pull down that i'm feeling so a lot of you this is um an energy of repeated patterns or lessons karmic lessons that you've had to learn uh some of it is a relationship some of it actually is also your relation it's multiple relationships with like work um your friendships your family it's so much that is kind of i feel an energy of you freeing yourself you're and again oh this is what i'm saying this is why i always feel emperor energy with this card it's time to take back control of your life and that's exactly what i feel i just feel strong emperor energy for you guys um in terms of embodying you know what elements embody so because i feel this so strongly to be a spiritual journey for you i want to pull this messages from this deck again this week for the loves which you guys know i don't normally do for the love readings but i love it protection this is also emperor energy for me because usually emperor energy is could be a father figure on the other side or spiritual figure on the other side that also provides protection so the need for energetic emotional or physical boundaries is necessary for you at this time that's exactly i do feel that pisces and and it's strong so pivot point you are at a fork in the road where an important decision may have a substantial impact i do feel that as well triggering there we go you may be put to the test there goes that test these are the tests there's a lot that's um I just feel that it's really just an energetic surge. It's a strong energy, guys. I can't. Let me just read this. In certain situations, to address patterns with yourself and others. If this brings up a behavior that must um, be corrected, now is the time. So yes, there will be some triggers, divine timing, because it's happening underneath the surface. Okay, Pisces? All is happening in universal time when spirit knows you have done the work and are ready. So definitely this is the t knowing the knowing of this emperor energy I'm feeling with this free yourself as well. And then of course, practice unconditional love. This is the energy of flow coming from the empress here and showing love to yourself and others promotes healthy relationships criticism of others may be a reflection of what you may need to heal so you know again i feel there's a timeline shift you guys are really at this pivot point um so this is why it's a combination so when it comes to love a lot of you are releasing a past energy or the past energy is um, affecting you so some of you could have been in a marriage um, with children and it's just more of a triggering energy and and all i really feel a lot of you are in a new connection which is this chemistry so you guys really are um allowing yourself to embrace more of this unconditional love that's being received um, also experiencing intimacy on different levels with someone and this is a uh, to me it feels very healing also activation so let's see what else spirit has for you i do feel for some of you this x um is causing conflict in terms of all of a sudden wanting a second chance so if this is an x coming around for some of you um, that wants a second chance then um, this is where the pivot point is for a lot of you where you're gonna have to make a really big decision so here there you go i love it this is your efforts. This is the eight of pentacles, but in this deck it's called positive movement forward. And I do feel there is a positive movement. Yep. Away from the devil energy in the bottom. There's a conquering. So there's work to be done here. So we have two of two of swords, mental conflict. We have four of cups, which is the discontent boredom. I mean, this is not easy energy already starting, right? We have six of wands, victory and success. So this is the soul growth. This is finding harmony despite, despite the discontent, despite all the things that are probably bottling up inside you. Throat chakra, and there goes that rest and rejuvenate that we've been seeing for weeks. 
now um, Pisces in terms of needing rest. And I feel a lot of this is being resolved within your quiet time. And really, I do think practicing this unconditional love, again, it's you're needing to really show love for yourself right now. So this is a lot of it will re-trigger re emotions, maybe. <sighs> I got a specific message that I have to say. So for some of you, this is like really being hard on yourself for not seeing through the BS before, you know, it's almost like, and, and that's normal to do. That's normal to go through and to feel, um, which is why the triggering is a test, right? So this is where you get to make a decision, right? So you may be put to the test in certain situations to address patterns with yourself and others so if this brings up a behavior that must be corrected now is the time so you're giving you're getting a course of correction a a, 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 a timeline to be able to correct your course now so let's see your two of swords here why the mental conflict yes i love it ace of swords this mental conflict is just a lot being given to you in the crown chakra truth is coming out breakthroughs are coming out um and sometimes we'll we'll we're fearing so i feel there's an irrational fear when it comes to this breakthrough which honestly comes from your throat chakra needing to be honest with yourself and just speak your truth Okay, more on this four of cups. So we've got the moon, the five of swords, and the ace of cups. And I really feel this energy of needing to surrender. So this, we're having the solar eclipse happening. And a lot of it is the triggering. So there's a lot that's going to be um, resurfacing. I feel the surrendering here. The ace of cups is, again, conquering the flow of the empress i feel with that practice unconditional love right so this is where the flow so showing love to yourself and others promotes healthy relationships so criticism of others may be a reflection of what you may need to heal and this is a part where a criticism of others may be a reflection there is a reflection coming from this moon energy of what needs to be healed what's causing the discontent and boredom here what's causing this disappointment um uh, like the fight the exhaustion i feel this five of swords is more of an exhaustion of all this stuff that's underneath and how do you provide yourself more care um, more love and also not fearing this new love because there's clearly a new love here a new connection and it'll open up for those who are single it's going to open up this new connection right oh there goes that devil again so there's definitely a conquering energy here that's necessary now for some of you it's this triggering of this past energy also where um you have an ex that you probably need to close the chapter on <sighs> And for those who I said um, divorce, and I'm sorry, guys, let me pace myself with having because there's so much coming up. And I feel a lot of you are just in really different timelines. So when there's so many scenarios coming up, it's hard to give the readings. But also those of you who have already been divorced, I feel some of you have already been divorced. It's just a re-triggering or some of you in the process of divorce. This is really causing a lot of... Um, irrational fear in the other side which is uh, um, an irrational fear that comes in to interrupt your new love right your new journey right the devil energy comes in to disrupt what you've got going on to take your energy off the course you're in creating more mental conflict but also self-doubt in truth um, but it's all for a reason because at the end of the day we're still sitting here Pisces with two aces. We have ace of swords and ace of cups. And this is where I feel magician energy needs to come in. Also that emperor energy, free yourself. You have new beginnings, a potential. There's potential of new beginnings, but also you owning your new beginning. That's why it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, we're on this ace of cups. Why the ace of cups? Okay, we're on this ace of cups. Ah. Oh. 
guys did you see i even see him flip there was that emperor i'm talking about so this rest time four of swords which we have here and we've been talking about this for a while pisces about this need to heal and reprieve and that's why this ace of cups here is saying like this need to take care of yourself practice your again showing love to yourself right now showing love to yourself and taking back control of your life with this emperor energy that i keep feeling is exactly you know where you have to conquer whatever is causing the resistance i feel the triggering for a lot of you so oh and there you go high priestess so confirmed this is you you intuitively know this pisces you do okay so let's get on the six of wands so here we go with the king of pentacles this is a grounding energy i also feel these are the effects financially so a lot of you are going to see improvements on your finances because like i said this this past life is a lot for a lot of you it's just not just a relationship if it's a relationship it's built the the setbacks of that has spilled over through your finances just how you feel about yourself there's so much like kind of just uh, needing this is why the rest and rejuvenate so much needing to be like healed and processed because sometimes when we go through so much our soul our spirit can't process it and so we can fall into deeper despair and i feel this protection that we see here is that spirit is really trying to protect here so the need of energetic emotional or physical boundaries is necessary for you at this time there's a need to protect yourself because um there's um the emotional and physical boundaries there's a energy of disruption which can cause your emotions to fall deeper in despair and and that is what spirit is trying to avoid right it's trying to show you that you do not need to take back this part because we can fall into the, the the moons and the deeper parts of this discontent and boredom and then feel like we're losing five of swords everything we've got so i really feel spirit says rest let yourself find yourself again clear your waters your emotions ace of cups heal um embrace your new connection for those in new connections and don't let the past like really hold you back so here we are with this king of pentacles let's get more for this victory and success ace of pentacles so financially you guys are really gonna find your way and i feel this is where the success is and this is obviously when we fall into this emperor energy king of pentacles is the next to me for emperor energy which means you're really um owning your physical life the pentacles take time and it's a long-term investment right it's a it's a step it's a day-to-day -day step in action in your earthly plane for long-term results and you're moving forward here you're kind of seeing i feel a lot of you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel i want to clarify this king of pentacles spirit give me more on this king of pentacles strong earth energy here taurus energy a lot of you it's a job hierophant a lot of you is conquering it was a marriage like i said divorce or just a commitment overall so this is this is moving forward a lot of you are starting over and seeing it for what it is um again i know this is crazy pisces but i need to point out you've got three aces on the table here you it's the eclipse energy is the death and rebirth and you have the combination of because it's so harsh you have the combination energetically of a death and rebirth so the despair will feel more than the rebirth, but the despair leads you to the rebirth if you allow it, which is why the rest is necessary because it's really making room and you, it's really not allowing yourself to fall deeper into that moon energy. So do be careful. I would say that as a warning. Here more on the throat chakra. So here we go again with the six of wands which we just did and the hierophant again so this is true true karma playing out justice true karma balancing itself out for you here and this will make you so much stronger in your voice 
Um, and just the integrity that comes out of this Ace of Swords, it's because I always, this to me, Throat Chakra is my Ace of Swords in this deck, um, even though there's an Ace of Swords in this deck, but it's, it's your voice. It's finding truth, your authentic self. And so here you're rising above Six of Wands like we did here, rising above whatever has hold you back. A lot of you are really getting karma back and um, a karma balancing for itself where the good you've put out is going to benefit you and you're going to have a very successful, uh, like a very successful, a lot of you is career, but it's, it's allowed for an awakening of yourself too because in this deck, this is the guru and you're again taking back control of your life, freeing yourself and finally balancing your scales and seeing that you do have a way to work with the cosmos and bring justice and fairness into your life. Let me get more on this Hierophant. Whoa, this is too many spirit. But the one that fell over is the Nine of Pentacles. This is pre-Empress energy. Let me get more on this my Hierophant, which is good. More earthly more earthly um, energy also i want to point out taurus energy this eclipse is on taurus on november 8th it's on taurus so a lot of this taurus energy is really showing a lot of the physical aspects of your life here again more of this hierophant <laughs> i mean you can't make this up look at this we just ace of pentacles again with the ace of pentacles here so this is all moving new and again another an ace of pentacles in the same from a different deck now another ace here this is the spirits judgment um really aligning you to really take back pre-empress energy with the nine of pentacles plus the ace of pentacles is the ten of pentacles your long-term this is a long-term plan this is um the cosmos um you know also saturn is in retrograde but also there is a benefit for a lot of you who may have also capricorn in your if you have capricorn in your natal chart you know a lot of you have good karma playing out in the next um seriously turnarounds in your life which this is a long-term plan that's why i say so long term because this is really it's almost like this lifetime maybe from here to 10 years you guys is is really gonna be different for you and that's why divine timing is part of it you know understanding this pivot point like you it's gonna it's a substantial impact right whatever your decisions are are substantial to where you're going so let's see this rest and rejuvenate that has been so important for you. Hear me more on this rest and rejuvenate, please. Pisces. Yeah, so here we go. More confirmation. <laughs> four of swords, four of swords, and we have four of swords. So we have four of swords from three different decks now. Again, confirming this rest. That was needed. Why? Because we have three of wands. The forward thinking, the planning involved progression you know having the three of wands is one of the best in mine arcanas because it's favorable because we find ourselves in a very in a very good space and light where we where we're willing to take more risks and i feel this is part of this free yourself there's more risk this is what i'm saying this is really not focusing on love you guys because this has to do with where energetically you are going bottom of the deck is the eight of pentacles which we have here twice so basically confirmation again with the ending this um spread with the eight of pentacles where in this deck is called positive movement forward so your efforts your efforts are going to pay off and your plans are different that don't include that devil energy we just saw um we're going to clarify this three of wands yeah, perspective wants to come out hanged man another major arcana which is important seeing things different game on this three of wands and there we go your ten of pentacles pisces uh oh my god and look at that your ten of cups i am so 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 happy for you pisces like 
This is beautiful. I think, thank you, Spirit, for ending the, the reading just the way you did, because that's exactly what I was saying. Like the nine of pentacles, your, your focus on you creates this new long-term plan, Ten of, ace of pentacles, giving you the 10 of pentacles, which they've just given us both tens, 10 of pentacles, but also emotional fulfillment, 10 of cups. So you're going to be so proud of yourself and what you've taken back for yourself. A lot of you, again, business ventures, but it doesn't matter because also not only you're going to have this wonderful relationship. So everything that's happening, you're going to really know how to transmute it in very positive ways. So let's see what the blockages are. These would be current at the moment. What are the blockages for Pisces? Yes, be careful, my Pisces. Love bomb. Will it last? Getting what they want, hot and cold. I just feel that's the past relationship. You guys already know how I feel about that. And then we just said grounding. Get back into the moment. So again, freeing yourself, grounding, which we said with this Six of Wands and this King of Pentacles. I said this is more about grounding yourself. So your earthly planes, you gotta, you know, kind of ground a lot of earth energy with Taurus you know the hierophant is your institution it's your it's everything institutional your belief system so many things are being grounded at them this moment so get back into the moment um all the whistles bulls and whistles whatever bells and whistles it's 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 part of your release let's see what your guidance is Yes, look at this. If, if This is a lot. Wow. So reflection, stand still and watch what you're doing and who you are becoming. Only when you see your, well, only when we see ourselves, how we truly are is when we can change things. And that's really a truth. That's where the integrity comes in, the truth, the throat chakra. We're, be, we're reflecting and there's a lot of reflection clearly being shown here with the Three, the four of swords three times from three different decks. There goes that temptation, that devil energy we just saw, right? Remember, we're seeing temptations. You have temptations here two times now showing up in your read. Watch out for addictive behaviors, toxic people, and situations that don't serve you. Be cautious not to get trapped in negative cycles. Break free. So this is, again, past life. You know, I think this is about repeated lessons. So there's a need to um, get out of this loop. It feels like a, a cycle. So it's a, a negative loop. And there goes the transformation Scorpio season. Um, usually is the November season energy always, right? Even though we're in Scorpio season and eclipse as well. So you are going through a rebirth, rebirth right now. That's what I was saying here, Pisces, where... This is literally all these cards here. It's like the intensity because it's literally the like a thin line between the death and then all the aces and the rebirth. It's like right there. So this really is rebirth right now. So all you have ever known is upgraded to become your best self. Be confident in outcome, right? It's a dark night of the soul. Even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise again. This painful time will eventually pass and will reward you with a new and improved you. Everything will be all right at the, in the end. This dark night of the soul, you know, for some of you who've been in this spiritual awakening, um, some of you are just starting and this happens. I honestly feel a lot of you have already done this. There will always be many, um, and I think I called it in your reading one time. I'm not sure which one it was, but this is where it's called the chaotic underworld, where we dive into the chaotic underworld and there will be these moments of despair, but then there'll be all these, they become many resurrections in our lifetime and in this lifetime that you're going to be here on earth in this lifetime, right? The soul will be on this stuff. So there will be many resurrections where the sun will rise again. And the more you transform out of this, which will lead in this um, Scorpio seasons to me, one of the biggest dark night of the souls for a lot of people, because it's the death and rebirth, like we're saying. So it's for you to resurrect and it's going to be a very different version of yourself. I promise you. 
So let's get one more guidance from this deck for you. Oh, three guidances. Whoa, this is deep. I see Spirit has lots of messages here for you, um, Pisces. So you have connections. Cosmic connections are the souls that help us develop and can change the course of our path. I feel a lot of you are embracing a new connection where the chemistry is a strong magnetic attraction here. So it's going to pull you into a higher level engagement, which really the most important is the message here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, meaning a higher level of frequency. Healing. I lay in the fields of many, many flowers and become part of the landscape. Wildflowers begin to grow between the cracks of my soul and my heart blooms in beautiful unison. So the cracks, the cracks that were healed are healing, which is where the grounding is taking place. And then, of course, confirming, this is a number four, healing, confirming the, the three, four swords we have here from the deck and release, because that's exactly what you're doing here, um, Pisces. Your body is a garden, but you've let others plant flowers in your lungs. They grow while you gasp for air, cut them off so you can breathe again. And you are definitely in this position of closing out and really releasing um what needs to be released so i'm gonna leave it there pisces i love you please like share subscribe click that bell button if you enjoy my frequency but remember to live always relentlessly and strive aspiration this is the evolution of your soul and i'm here to nurture you until next message bye